Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking cigarettes and chilling in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a cloudy day, which I will admit I am quite excited to do. I'm quite excited to smoke some cigarettes in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a cloudy day. I'm quite excited to chill in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a cloudy day. And I'm also quite excited to enjoy a snack while I'm doing just that. And I'm also quite excited to have a nice, fresh, cold bottle of water while I do that as well as I do indeed have my uh, cooler with me today that I am looking forward to getting my snacks and water out of. But uh, I do suppose I can't chill and smoke cigarettes in the middle of a field if I'm not well in the middle of a field. And I am currently not in the middle of a field as I am, well, chilling in my car at the moment, which isn't so bad, but... I'm just not in the middle of a field, so I do suppose, I do suppose I should probably go ahead and try to get all of my stuff all together so I can actually go ahead and go chill in this field over here. There's some benches and everything like that kind of thing on the side of the field, but that's on the side of the field, not on the, um, not, not in the middle of the field, so I'm thinking I'm going to walk past the bench and go all the way to the middle of the field over there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting all of my stuff all together so I can actually, well, accomplish the goal of this video, which is to smoke some cigarettes and chill in the middle of a field. Let's go ahead and get this up real quick. Let's go ahead and grab my backpack. I do suppose I'm just going to kind of, uh, maybe, maybe not. This is going to be a little bit awkward to do while I'm trying to hold my camera at the same time. Let's go ahead and first off open up my door. I do suppose step outside, grab my wallet from the inside of the door pocket is probably a good idea to do first. I probably do want my wallet. I'm going to go ahead and grab my backpack, put that back down just like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this backpack on my back. And now I'm going to go ahead and unlock my back door so I can go and grab my cooler and my chair all out. I'm going to go ahead, do that, put my backpack on the rest of the way, go ahead and strap the strap right here and just like that i'm all set to go almost i still need to grab my cooler and my chair i don't know how i'm going to carry all this stuff with one hand because i'm trying to carry my camera with uh, uh, uh with uh, with another hand kind of thing go ahead and just uh, fold that out go ahead and grab my cooler my pontiac guys take cooler to be precise put that in my chair let's go ahead and lock the uh front door if i can i think i should probably do that with my uh right hand instead of trying to do that with my left let's go and lock the back door now just like that Let's go and just check all the locks. Got to always check all the locks, you know what I'm saying? Very happy with my car, though. Got to flex, you know what I'm saying? 1985 Mercedes 300D turbo diesel. Got to flex, you know what I'm saying? I am a big fan of it, I will admit. But since all of the uh, locks are indeed actually locked, which is not always like that, uh, let's go ahead and start walking to the middle of the field after I kind of orient how I'm going to carry both of these things with one hand because I'm carrying the camera with the, my other hand. So let's go ahead and I do suppose first off get this all folded up and then kind of, ah, there we go. That's easier than I thought. See, there's the easier, that's, <laughs> I'm getting more jumbled up. That's easier than I thought. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead, just turn around, take a look at the whip, you know what I'm saying? Got to do it every single time I walk away from it. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And now let's go and continue walking because I have a mission and my mission is to smoke some cigarettes in the middle of a field, I will admit. This field though, it's just at a local park kind of thing. I really love coming to this park. I don't usually come to this area of the park though, just, uh, just simply because generally it's a little bit busier than not. And because since it is a field, a giant field, it's literally called the big field, um, tends to be a little bit more breezy than not, I will admit. And so generally recording out here isn't very good, but, uh, I do suppose if the, if the goal is to smoke some cigarettes in the middle of a field, that ain't so bad then, right? But there are a decent amount of people out here today. There's some people flying planes and whatnot. I'm not sure if you guys can see, not sure if you guys can see the plane, but there is indeed a plane flying over there and whatnot kind of thing, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. But I'm thinking we are approaching the middle of the field. I'm thinking we are. Where do I want to sit? So there's more field over there, more field over there. There's people over there, so I don't think I want to sit over there. I'm thinking maybe walk over this way a little bit, go past this little thing right here, and then there's another little thing over there and sit in between both of those right there, I'm kind of thinking. 
That could be the vibe, honestly. That could be the move. Thinking I might do that. Yeah, that might be pretty good. Let's see, where's a nice little flat area? I'm thinking, I'm thinking right about where I'm standing right here. I'm thinking right about where I'm standing right here. So let's go and put everything down. Let's go and get my chair all folded out just like that. And let's go ahead, put my cooler on this side. And let's go ahead. And actually, I just realized the sun is coming from that way. So if I'm sitting facing this way, the sun is gonna be in the side of my face like it is right now. So I'm thinking actually I'm gonna kind of sit with my back to the sun so I don't have to deal with the sun in my face all the time. Got to make sure I orient myself to not get sun in my face all the time. And now I'm thinking I should probably go ahead and get my bigger tripod all out so I can actually uh, show you guys what I'm doing and what I'm smoking in today's video uh, without not knowing if I'm even showing y'all on camera or not. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and orient this camera. Just let's see. Like that kind of thing. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna go and get my bigger tripod out of my backpack now. There we go. There we go. Now that I'm a bigger tripod out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my smaller tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and take my my phone out. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I messed this up. <laughs> I didn't even need to take my phone out because I'm using the same camera mount. To hold my phone with my big tripod as I use on my small tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and now put this one on. Made a made a big deadly mistake there, I will admit. Deadly mistake I made right there. It is what it is though. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in just like that. And I am now gonna end the video just for a moment and restart it real quick so I can actually have the camera facing me and everything like that kind of thing. So I'll be back in just a moment, y'all. Alrighty, y'all, now that I am back, it's been a total of 30 seconds. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and put away my smaller tripod, maybe. I'm just gonna probably just kind of fold it up just a little bit kind of thing and just shove it in my backpack. And now I do suppose it's time for me to go ahead and show you guys what cigarettes I'm gonna be smoking in today's video. I have two main options. I'm thinking about smoking. The first of which is uh, one of my last uh, smokable products I have from Japan. It would be my uh, Cool Looped Plus Menthol Filtered Cigars. Been enjoying these over the last couple days, I will admit, and I'm almost done with the entire pack now. I have two of them left, so I'm thinking I might smoke one of these in today's video. But I'm thinking before that, I want to enjoy a nice, unflavored cigarette kind of thing. And so I'm kind of thinking I don't want one of my Dejerim uh, Blacks from Japan. Uh, I've been using this pack to hold my rollies that I've uh, been rolling with Amber Leaf Rolling Tobacco. And so I'm kind of thinking I might have this rollie first and then maybe one of the Cool Loop Pluses. But before I even get one of these cigarettes out, before I even get it all lit up, I'm kind of thinking I want a snack in all honesty. I'm kind of feeling a little bit hungry. I, will admit. I could go for a snack. I could go for some water. I have some water in the side of my backpack right here, but it's not particularly cold by any means. So, you know, it just ain't as scrumptious. So I'm thinking first off, I should probably get my uh, nice cold water out of my cooler. Ooh, ooh, wow, that, that started getting a little bit condensated the moment I took it out of my cooler. Wow, that's how you know it's a good cooler, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking I probably want one of my peanut butter dark chocolate kind bars as well. So let's go and close up my cooler put my water on top. I think first off, I'm gonna take a sip of water, then I'm gonna go and eat my kind bar. Then after that, I'm thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my ciggies all lit up, you know what I'm saying? Good times, you know what I'm saying? Good times, I certainly cannot complain. And I'm thinking the chocolate taste from the peanut butter dark chocolate kind bar is gonna combine really well with the sort of um, citrusy cocoa-like taste of amber leaf. I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking it is in all honesty. Mm. Very good, very good. Absolutely scrumptious if I do say so myself. I was getting a little bit sunny there for a minute, but thankfully it's now cloudy again. I did say in the title that I was smoking cigarettes and chilling in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. on a cloudy afternoon, not on a sunny afternoon, so 
I'm glad the clouds stayed put. That is for sure. I'm glad the, I'm glad the clouds stayed put. I'm trying to eat one of these when it's frozen, though. It tries like It starts uh, spraying stuff everywhere. It's definitely a lot more messy to eat than it is when it's not frozen. That is for sure. But it's still just as delicious. And there's some, there's some dogs walking around over there. They're very small dogs. From this distance, they look more like guinea pigs than dogs, I'll be frank. Interesting. I guess they're like Yorkies or something. They're very cute, though. Very cute dogs. Oh, wow. There's like four of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> the lady who's walking them, she's got like four dogs. Two of them I didn't see at first. But, yeah, no, she's got like four dogs. Oh, my God. And they're all, they all look like guinea pigs from this distance. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. There's some tiny dogs. And she's got a lot of them. That was delicious though. Put my trash in my cooler. Can't be littering or nothing like that, of course. And now I've got some chocolate on my hands. Some of the chocolate got on me and then melted on my hands. I'm gonna go and finish chewing. Take a sip of water. I think I'm gonna get one of my amber leaf rollies, all it up, and go ahead and get you smoking, y'all. Mmm. That was delicious, though, I will admit. Yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Dang, that was some good stuff. Mm. Mm. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I was, trying, I was trying to do it with the lid in my hand, and I was like, wait a minute. No, I'm flicking off the camera. I can't do that. That is so good, y'all. That is so good. It's not even particularly warm today. It's like a solid, like 75 degrees right now, I'd have to say. It's not even that warm, but damn, cold water hits different. It is so good. It is so good. And when you're trying to vibe and smoke some cigarettes in the middle of a field, I'd have to say that cold water is a requirement. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get one of my Amber Leaf Roll Your Own Cigarettes all out, which uh, is actually the, the, it's the, the only Amber Leaf Roll Your Own Cigarette in here. I forgot to roll any more for myself last night, I will admit. But without further ado, let's go and get it all out. And let's go ahead and get it lit up in just a moment. And let's go ahead and get to smoking. I'm going to go and shove the empty pack back in my backpack just so in case the uh, wind picks up, it doesn't try to fly away and escape from me. There's some tobacco sitting in the filter, which uh, I'm not a big fan of because I don't like getting tobacco in my mouth. But I think it is what it is kind of thing. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get some crows flying by. They vibing, you know what I'm saying? They vibing. Making lots of noise, though. Looks like they're trying to harass each other. Amusing. Well, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here, all it up, and let's go ahead and get to smoking so I can actually, well, smoke a cigarette and chill in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. Uh, on, on a cloudy afternoon. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this all it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And right off the bat, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That is so nice. That is so nice right off the bat. I can feel a little bit of nicotine coming into my system right off the bat. Not feeling like buzz by any means kind of thing, but I can definitely feel a little bit of nicotine coming into my system. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And the taste of the amber leaf, as predicted, is combining very, very, very well with the aftertaste of the kind bar. Whew, certainly no complaints on my behalf. It's been about 30 minutes since the last time I had a cigarette, I've, I, I will admit I've been wanting another cigarette, but um, 
Haven't had one for the last 30 minutes, so I'm glad I'm smoking one now, that is for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I'm now like five hits in and I'm getting pretty buzzed now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Amber Leaf, when I first tried it, I didn't think it was like super, super strong kind of thing. Now that I've been smoking it a little bit more and I've been rolling it a little bit more and everything like that kind of thing and trying to figure out like what the right um, amount of Amber Leaf is to roll with and everything like that kind of thing. I've been using my rolling machine to roll it. Um, I, haven't been, I haven't been hand rolling. I'm not good at hand rolling. This is this is not a hand rolled cigarette. I do want to acknowledge this is a this is a cigarette I rolled with a machine. But, but um, I've been trying to figure out like the right amount of Amber Leaf to put in the machine and everything like that kind of thing. And as I've been figuring out, I've been making some really tight rolls and some really loose rolls and, excuse me, um, no matter what, it hits so strong. It hits so strong, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is some good stuff that is for sure, and it's definitely a lot stronger than I thought it was initially, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But man, oh man, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. A lot stronger than I thought it was, but that ain't a bad thing at all. Be giving me a buzz, like almost every single time, I ain't gonna lie, almost every single time I smoke one of these cigarettes right here, rolled with Amber Leaf, it gets me a buzz. And that is something that I honestly was not really expecting, that is for sure. It's not like I need two of them to get a buzz. It's one of them and I'm like, wow, whoa, I feel like I just had my first buzz of the day. That's how buzzed I get from one of these right here. bus driving by man oh man it's a beautiful day i'm gonna lie it's a beautiful day folks are flying planes in the background very nice ambient noise that is for sure looks like that plane oh i thought it was going in for a landing but no he's just going down going back up oh he's going up almost straight up up and then he leveled it off i'm waiting for somebody to do a loop-de-loop -loop or something like that kind of thing i've been out in this same field with friends before we're just like chilling in the middle of the field like i am right now we're just watching the planes because sometimes they'll be like no joke like whole groups of like 20 people's just uh flying their planes out here and everything like that kind of thing it must be the uh the rc plane uh, meetup spot makes sense it is a good really big field after all but um just been watching some of the planes and we've seen some of them do some like crazy stuff kind of thing it's like whoa oh he's going straight up no loop-de-loop -loop, though no loop-de-loop -loop. he just goes straight back down hmm Hoping to see a loop-de-loop, -loop, you know what I'm saying? Hope, ho hoping to see a loop-de-loop, -loop, maybe a barrel roll. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Ooh. This cigarette, though, is getting me really buzzed. Might have been a bit ambitious to say I was gonna smoke more than one cigarette, but I've already committed to that, so I am indeed gonna smoke more than one cigarette, but dang... I am buzzed right now, let me tell y'all what. I am definitely more buzzed than not. Oh, and he's upside down. He's flying upside down. Oh, yes, sir. Flipped it back around. All right, he's doing some tricks. He's doing some tricks. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Whew, I'm feeling so buzzed right now though. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm feeling pretty buzzed right now. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give myself a minute. Wow. I'm pretty, I'm pretty dang buzzed right now, y'all. Dang. I really, I knew this cigarette was gonna get me decently buzzed, but it's getting me hella buzzed. It hasn't even been that long since the last time I had a cigarette. It's only been 30 minutes. Last cigarette I smoked was one of these, uh, cool looped plus is uh filtered cigars from japan and i mean like hey they're stronger they're not for sure but they're not as strong as this cigarette right here dang whoo kept me hella buzzed i ain't gonna lie hella buzz that is for sure <sighs> probably also due to the fact that i am essentially smoking this unfiltered i did just put a uh, like raw filter tip in there just to make sure i don't get no tobacco in my mouth or on my lips or something like or anything like that kind of thing but 
I'm sure that is playing a part in me getting so buzzed right now. Dang, Amberleaf, it's some strong stuff, I ain't gonna lie, it's some strong stuff. Dang. Got a piece of kind bar stuck in between my teeth, got it out, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Whew, wow, I'm feeling so buzzed. This is tiring me out, I ain't gonna lie, this is tiring me out. Dang, wow. Whew, well. I certainly cannot complain, that is for sure. I certainly cannot complain. I'm having a good time right now, y'all. I'm having a good time. Whew. I'm gonna burn that little bit of paper off that's annoying me. If I can, it's uh, getting a little bit breezy. There we go. Got it off, got it off. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, but dang. I'm pretty buzzed right now, y'all. <laughs> I'm pretty buzzed right now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Just vibing, just chilling, just having a good time, you know what I'm saying? I cannot complain. Whew. I think I'm definitely gonna need a second to chill out and not smoke anything after I'm done with this cigarette right here. Because I'm quite buzzed right now. I know I've said that, but I really can't emphasize enough just how buzzed I am right now. Whew, man oh man. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I suppose I should probably grab a little bit of screenshot now, shouldn't I? I'm still so buzzed though. Wow. These are so strong. So strong. Amberleaf kicking my ass. Kicking my ass. Dang. Whew. Like, I don't mind a buzz. Don't get me wrong, but it's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy, that is for sure. Dang. Whew. Wow, it's getting rough too. Oh man, I'm gonna have to give myself a minute. I'm gonna have to give myself a minute, y'all. Dang. I'm feeling quite buzzed. Oh, and there's another person flying their plane now. Somebody's got a, a jet and somebody else has a Cessna. Excuse me, that's pretty cool. And my cigarette has gone out. Honestly, though, I'm going to give myself a minute. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a minute. I am so buzzed right now, it's insane. I am so buzzed right now, it's insane. Whew. Excuse me. I'm just going to let, my chill, my, let, let, let myself chill for a minute. Some people flying kites as well. It is a little bit breezy today. I just have to say it's uh, probably better weather than not to fly some kites. Not that I've ever actually flown a kite. Now that I think of it, I've never actually flown a kite before. I need to do that. I need to fly a kite in all honesty. I should put that on my bucket list. I need to do that. I need to do that. I've never flown a kite before. How have I never done that before? I don't know how I've never done that before, but I never have. I don't know. Maybe I did when I was like really, really, really young, but I don't remember it. I don't remember ever flying a kite. Yeah. No. I had a kite when I was a kid. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it is. I don't I don't think I ever used it though. Just sat in the corner of my room when I was a kid for all of eternity. I should fly a kite sometime. I should. Huh. Never done that before. Whew. Dang, though, I'm still feeling buzzed. I'm still feeling buzzed, y'all. Man, oh man. 
Amber leaf. Some strong stuff. It's kicking my butt. <laughs> it's kicking my butt, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna give myself another moment. Then after that, I think I'm gonna go back to smoking. Whew. Wow. I wasn't expecting to get this buzzed in today's video, but here I am proving myself wrong. It'd be like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like that. Now the sun's come out. It's still cloudy, but the sun's out and it's cloudy. Mm. Interesting, interesting. It's nearly five o'clock now. Church over there. His bells are tolling. Let's go and get this all lit up, y'all. Somebody's playing some music over there, too. And now, it is very sunny out here, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And, and two hits, two hits, and I am back to being insanely buzzed. Oh my god, this stuff is strong, y'all. This stuff is strong. Dang. A piece of the ash just fell off. I think it fell into my chair. Thankfully, did not fall into my shorts leg. I've had that happen before. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. It's a beautiful day out here today, though. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Beautiful day out here today. Solid. 75 degrees and cloudy. More like 80 if you're in the sun, but 75 degrees It's if the sun isn't really out too much kind of thing. It's a good day. It's a good day to just uh, smoke some cigarettes and chill in the middle of a field at 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a cloudy day. More like 5 o'clock now because it's currently uh, 4.59, but close enough, you know what I'm saying, close enough. Well, I think that's all I wanted of this cigarette. I think I am all good, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm all good. So I'm gonna go ahead, step it out on the ground, make sure I can cause no forest fires and nothing like that. Not that I suppose it'd really be a forest fire from in the middle of a field. I guess it would be more of a field fire now, wouldn't it? But field fires are just as bad as forest fires and they can cause forest fires. So I gotta make sure I stub on my cigarette. But dang y'all, I'm buzzed. Those, uh, those last couple hits of the cigarette, they, uh, they got me. They got me, that's for sure. Dang. Stuff is strong. Stuff is strong, y'all. Take a sip of water. And I think, in a minute, I'm gonna get one of my uh, Cool Looped Plus menthol filtered cigars all lit up after I let this buzz go away just a little bit. This buzz is kicking my ass. Wow. Something about the amber leaf rolling tobacco just gets you so buzzed. It's so odd. When I tried it for the first time, I got buzzed. I did not get this buzz though. It was not like an insane, intense buzz that is just honestly on almost like thought interrupting. Like I can't even think of what to say right now. That's how intense the buzz is kind of thing. It's very much just thought interrupting. It was not, it was not this, uh, it was not this intense, that is for sure. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it had to do with how I rolled it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure in all honesty. It's good smoke though. Good smoke, tasted fantastic. Great smoke, very enjoyable. Whew. Well. I'm just gonna chill for a minute. I'm still so buzzed though. I'm still so buzzed. Taking my sunglasses off, it's kind of a, uh, shifted my mind into a different uh, 
different different segments and now the buzz isn't hitting as hard as it was literally just moments ago but I can definitely still tell I've got a lot of nicotine in my system I can definitely still tell I've got a lot of nicotine in my system that is for sure dang oh dang man oh man Whew. this stuff kicks it kicks that is for sure well I think the buzz has gone away enough for me to get one of my uh cool looped plus menthol filtered cigars all it up not technically a cigarette but i'm gonna smoke it like a cigarette i'm gonna inhale and everything like that so without further ado let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up let's go ahead and get one of my last i only have one more left after this one let's go and get one of my last uh cool looped plus menthol filtered cigars from japan all out now that i have it all out I do suppose i should probably get my lighter out of my pocket and i should probably get to smoke and now shouldn't I? Sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like a good idea to me. Well, without further ado though, let's go ahead and get this all lit up and let's go ahead and continue smoking y'all. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Ooh. I felt like I had to burp for a moment there, but no, no burp came. I think I might grab another little screenshot. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Can you see the plane flying right there? Yes, sir. Hopefully that'll do for a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that'll do for a screenshot. <sighs> and the very nice, crisp, cool menthol is certainly quite refreshing, I can It's certainly quite refreshing. Surprisingly so. Surprisingly so, since it's not really uh, all that warm of a day. It is surprisingly refreshing, though. Definitely more of an enjoyable smoke than not, that is for sure. Definitely a lot less intense than the uh, than the amber leaf rolly I just had. Definitely a lot less intense. <sighs> but still, a lot stronger than not. Still a lot stronger than not. A little bit of a breeze picking up. It's a little bit chilly. I think when I'm driving home in my car, I think I'm gonna have to put my sweater on. I have a, my sweater in my backpack right here. It's a little bit chilly when I left the house today. Then it got warmer, took off my sweater, put it in my backpack. And that breeze is a little bit chilly is why I'm thinking when I'm driving home with the wind, because I'm gonna have my windows down, thinking with the wind and everything like that, I'm probably gonna wanna put my sweater back on in all honesty, but. But I'm just vibing in the middle of a field, just chilling, smoking my stogie. I don't need my sweater. It is a little bit chilly though. Not chilly enough for my arm here is to be standing on end though. And I let I let my I let my cigarette go out. Wow. Cannot believe me. It is what it is. I'll get it all lit up and once again in a moment. Whew. Buzz though. Very buzzed. I can't complain. I can't complain. Like, I've been smoking for... Whew. How long? Smoking consistently for... Almost five years now, I think? Yeah. If not over five years now, I've been smoking consistently. I'm still getting a buzz. <laughs> I'm 
I'm still getting buzzes that kick my ass in the middle of the day. Like it's pretty, it's pretty normal for me to get a buzz that kicks my ass in the morning, but a buzz that kicks my ass in the middle of the day, that's, uh, that's not so normal. I guess that's just a testament to how strong the amber leaf stuff is. I guess that's just a testament to it. Whew. Excuse me, excuse me. There was that burp that I wanted to have a couple minutes ago when I was just getting my cigarette all lit up. Whew. Well, I do suppose without further ado, I'm gonna go get my lighter out of my pocket once again, get this relit, finish it off, and I guess walk back to my car. I have my sunglasses off. The buzz has now gone away just a little bit. I don't know, is it like the, like I've heard there's like a thing called the doorway effect. And it's like when you walk through a doorway, your mind enters like a different mode kind of thing. Like you kind of, and that's like why you, when you walk into your house and you were like meaning to do something immediately, and then as soon as you walk in, you forget about it kind of thing. Um, I wonder if there's a similar effect to the doorway effect as like this and it's like called the sunglass effect where you're wearing sunglasses and you're thinking about one thing you're feeling one type of way kind of thing and you take off your sunglasses and then all of a sudden you're just kind of like whoa what just happened kind of thing I'm kind of just in a completely different mode right now that's how it is for me a lot of times I will admit I wonder wonder if there's a similar thing the doorway effect is is very interesting and I've, I've found it to be for me at least uh, a little bit more true than not although not completely true of course but the sunglass effect, I'd have to say, is more of a thing for me. I let it go I, I let it go out once again. Just be talking a little bit too much, you know what I'm saying? Be talking a little bit too much and be smoking too little, apparently. nice though well I think that's all I had to this cigarette I'm gonna go and stub it out on the ground make sure I don't cause no uh, field fires or nothing like that kind of thing just make sure it's all stubbed out so about the rest of the filter on the bottom of my shoe as well it wasn't smoking but maybe it would have started smoking or something like that kind of thing it'd be like that sometimes I'm gonna go ahead and grab my butt pouch out of my backpack that I have right here Go and get it all opened up and shove my butts in my butt pouch. Can't be, can't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing. Go and make sure both of those are in there. Go and close it back up. And I'll empty that out later, I do think. Go put that back in my backpack. Now I do suppose I should probably put my pack of cigarettes back in my backpack too now, shouldn't I? Whew. Feeling buzzed today. Feeling buzzed, feeling good. I wasn't expect to feel. I wasn't expecting to feel this chill in today's video, but dang! When I said I was going to be chilling in today's video at the beginning of this video, I wasn't expecting to be this chill. But dang, I am. I am chilling. I am chilling, y'all. Well, I do think, put that, put my bottle of water in my uh, cooler that I have right here. Go put that next to my backpack. Go ahead and stand up, I do suppose. Make sure my backpack is all zipped up. I've got everything in it and everything like that kind of thing. Go and put it on my back. Stand up. Make sure I'm not forgetting nothing besides my cooler and my uh, my, my cooler and my uh, tripod and phone. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything else. Go and grab this, and I do suppose let's go and get back to walking to my car. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and see if I can grab 
to my cooler and backpack with the same hand again. There we go. And uh, just make sure I'm not forgetting anything once again. I don't believe I'm forgetting anything. I'm not seeing anything I'm forgetting. Didn't uh, leave my cigarette butts on the ground or nothing like that. So I do suppose, let's go and walk back to my car. Let's go and put everything in my car. And uh, I'm gonna go and end the video right there. I do suppose this has been a fun video to make, I will admit. I was not expecting to get as buzzed as I got in this video, but dang, let me tell y'all what, I got a buzz that is for sure, certainly. No complaints on my behalf. My car is over there. Looking very good if I do say so myself. Looking very good if I do say so myself. Y'all already know. Had to gangster park, you know what I'm saying? Had to do it. Had to back into the spot. Got to flex, you know what I'm saying? Got to flex some parking skills, I say, as I pulled out and pulled back in twice to make sure I actually had good parking. Um, but yeah, got to flex some parking skills, you know what I'm saying? Got to flex some parking skills. The 300D. Been doing well, though. Been doing well, you know what I'm saying? I certainly can't complain that is for sure. It's a great daily driver. It's a great daily driver. And I've been enjoying whipping it. That is for sure. Very, very, very proud of my car. I'm sure that's obvious, though. I'm sure that's obvious. Every time I see it, I'm like, I gotta talk about it. <laughs> I gotta show it off. I gotta. And that plane, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's flying. It's going, you know what I'm saying? Whew. My arms starting to hurt from carrying both the chair and my cooler at the same time. Oh man, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go any further into the field. That is for sure, I'd have to stop and take a break. Well. Oh. Whew. Now that I'm back at my car, I can put my tripod on the back right here. And I think I'm gonna go and end the video right here, y'all. It's been a lot of fun. Been a lot of fun. Been a very chill experience to uh, smoke a cigarette in uh, the middle of a field and chill. Uh, smoke a cigarette, smoke cigarettes in the middle of a field and chill at uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's been a lot of fun, I will admit. I certainly can't complain. And I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. Was there anything else I wanted to say? No, I don't think there was. I'm just gonna put everything in my car. I think go use the restroom, head home, enjoy the rest of my day. I think that's pretty much the plan. It's a good day, you know what I'm saying? It's a good day, and I hope all y'all's day is going just as good as mine, that is for sure. Well, I think that's all I had to say. I think that's all I had to say, yeah. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys have enjoyed watching today's video, uh, where I, well, smoked cigarettes and chilled in the middle of a field at uh, 4 p.m. on a cloudy afternoon, uh, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to, well, uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel, all in the description down below. Completely lost my train of thought, I will admit. But yeah, now, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying.